The 2023 Miami Heat are the only number eight seed ever to have a championship series tied up. Three consecutive massive underdog series upsets leading up to these finals in addition to that fact have given them the greatest NBA storyline of all time. Butler and Adebayo were recently out of the discussion as being a top NBA duo, but with the help of several elite undrafted glue guys as well as seen it all veterans, Jimmy and Bam have been the catalysts to Miami going on this miracle run. Not too long ago, Miami took a devastating L to the Atlanta Hawks during their first game of the play-in tournament. Then, facing elimination against Chicago, the Heat were trailing entering the fourth quarter and down by six points with just over seven minutes remaining in their second of two play-in games. Miami even trailed Chicago facing elimination back on April 14th by three points with just under three minutes to play. They'd respond by going on a fearless and merciless 15-1 run to close it out. In round one, they'd go on to upset a fully intact big three of Giannis, Middleton, and Holiday, beating a Milwaukee team that finished first in the Eastern Conference, won the championship in 2021, debatably have the best player in the world, and tallied an NBA most 58 Ws in five games. In round two, they took down a New York team that was 17-8 with Josh Hart, equating to the second best record in the NBA over the regular season's last 25 outings. In round three, they extinguished a Boston team that won an NBA second most 57 games during the regular season and somehow hung onto the rope after seeing their 3-0 series lead nearly erased. Miami would exact revenge in nearly an identical scenario in which they lost in a year prior to advance to the NBA Finals. Jimmy Butler has still received the lack of credit for averaging 37.3 points over five games against Milwaukee. In that opening round, Butler made an unheard of 60% of his 24 shots per game and 45% of his five three-pointers per game. In game four, he would pass LeBron for the most single-game playoff points in franchise history with a 56-piece, the fourth-highest single-game scoring performance in NBA history. When it comes to Butler, there's only one question that's left to be asked. Tobias Harris over me? It would be more of a team effort in the conference semifinals, as six Heat players would post scoring averages of at the very least 10.5 points, over the course of six games. Those players would, in addition to Butler and Adebayo, be firstly the third leading scorer for that series in Max Struess to go along with Kyle Lowry, Caleb Martin, and Gabe Vincent. In the conference finals, Caleb Martin, one of six Miami rotation players who spent four years at the NCAA level and went undrafted, averaged 19.3 points throughout the course of a seven-game battle with Boston. Former Division III college basketball player Duncan Robinson would go from being a fringe rotation player during the regular season and majority of the playoffs to averaging double-figure scoring in that epic battle with the Celtics. Thus far on the biggest stage in sports being the NBA Finals, Gabe Vincent has averaged a Miami second most 21 points per game, in addition to making four and a half threes per game on a shooting split of 58-56-100. Vincent is also leading the finals in three-pointers. The four-year product of UC Santa Barbara has quietly become one of the smoothest perimeter bucket getters in the NBA. Gabriel Namdi has evidently been bred for the most pressure-filled moments, and his consistent stroke from deep range, whether spotting up or working off the bounce, back up the claim that he's about to get a serious raise in 2023's offseason. The hustle from the Heat's array of undrafted players shows up in the fact that Max Struess, Gabe Vincent, and Caleb Martin rank second, third, and fifth respectively in total charges drawn during this postseason. Amidst all of the undrafted success stories, plus of course Jimmy Butler raising his acclaim, Bam Adebayo's story has unfortunately got lost in the shuffle. During a press conference on Tuesday, Butler was asked about the importance of Adebayo to the team on both ends, saying, quote, Bam's been playing incredibly well this entire playoffs, for sure this series, and this one, he got like the toughest matchup by far on the defensive side of the ball. And he plays with so much energy, he never takes a possession or a playoff. So you gotta really respect him for that. And then on the offensive end, he's doing everything for us, 
so we need him to continue to be that. He has been there for us all year long, and like I said, he's going to be the reason why we win a championship." End quote. Big words from Butler, which are backed up by the fact that Bam did both on-court interviews after the Game 2 W, getting a tad bit pissed at Jimmy for leaving the floor early. In all seriousness, those words from Butler regarding Edris, Femi, Bam, Adebayo are legitimately backed up because of the fact that he's leading the Heat in scoring during these finals so far, averaging 23.5 points, evidently embracing the biggest stage, as Bam himself alluded to doing. Adebayo is all of leading Miami in scoring, rebounding, blocked shots, and minutes played through the first two games of these finals. You saw an in-depth breakdown of Miami's half-court offense executed during Game 2 in my last film breakdown type video, but the Heat can also get it done in transition. That leads us into another narrative amidst the greatest NBA storyline ever, Miami's Tom Brady-esque passers. Kevin Love has made a history of throwing pristine full-court dimes throughout his whole career, dating back to his days in Minneapolis with the Timberwolves, conveying through to his Cleveland era. However, K-Loves never had someone on his own squad that's rivaled him in that department, but here was Kyle Lowry on who the best outlet passer on this team is. Who throws a better deep outlet pass? You Me. Work out, um, fair enough. <laughs> Lowry's been exceptional at dropping three-quarter court, risky yet pace-pushing and generally effective dimes since his time in Toronto. But whether it's the arc, the power, the accuracy, not to mention impulsiveness, to let such outlets fly in the first place, that skill meshes perfectly with Miami's array of quick combo forwards who like to fly up the court in transition. A former Heat player who helped win the team's first championship in 06 related his game to Lowry's. Nine-time NBA All-Star and All-Defensive Team player and Gary Dwayne Payton Sr. spoke on North Philly's finest in an interview with SB Nation regarding Miami's success, saying, quote, Kyle Lowry was just like me. Me on that team is just like Lowry on this team. He and I are the same. We came in, we made shots, we played defense, and we did what we had to do to win." End quote. High praise for Kyle from a member of the 75th anniversary team. But here's the most insane fact about this Miami run, a run which will inevitably be remembered for decades and potentially centuries if they secure the chip. This Heat team's racked up the most wins in postseason history after trailing by 8 plus points heading into the fourth quarter. Miami is 4-5 and five in those games during 2023's postseason. All other teams are a combined 1-41. This Heat team never gives up or in. Not when they were given a 3% chance to win the East Finals. Not when every analyst had them getting swept or losing in 5 to Milwaukee. And most certainly not when they were given an 11% chance to win these 2023 Finals. If you enjoyed that breakdown and want to see more, first of all, leave a like on this video for the YouTube algorithm. Help the channel reach 100k by subscribing as we're very close to reaching that mark. And let's be friends. Follow at DFlowHoops on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.